Welcome back to another video. We are still here in Malaysia and while I'm present, I'm going to take this opportunity, take you guys around and show you some of the animals that are available for pre-order. Now, before I get started, just this morning, I was having a conversation with some kid from Spain or Germany, or I don't know where he was from, and he asked me for a couple of animals. It sounded like he wasn't gonna get his way with logistics, it was gonna be a problem. And he got angry and then just accused me of what I see is you're selling wild caught animals that aren't established. And then of course he chickened out and disappeared from the conversation. Anyway, I'm gonna show you animals and I'm going to be pointing out that a lot of these animals have full bellies because we just fed yesterday. I wanna show you how established the animals are that we do sell. Just watch the video, you make up your own mind. Let's get started with these Cynodon. These are captive bred baby Cynodon. These are not wild caught animals that aren't established. These were hatched here, one clutch last, late last year and another clutch after that. We're feeding these guys baby quail. There's a quail in his stomach. This one ate, right? So here is another one. There's a quail right there. And you guys are gonna get tired of hearing that by the time this video is over with. I'm not gonna show you every one, but I want you guys to see we're not just flipping wild caught animals. I don't know where these people get these crazy ideas. Quail. <laughs> so these guys are feeding incredible. I haven't made my selections as to what I'm gonna keep or not, but probably gonna cut some loose. Maybe not, I'm not even really sure. So moving over here, as soon as I turn the lights on, the, par the house geckos that were in here with the Paradisi and the Peleus started jumping around and the movement got the attention of the Peleus and the Paradisi and they started feeding immediately. So these are animals that I handpicked out of the facility. They are wild caught, but they are established and they're going to be sitting here for an additional eight weeks or so before we ship them to the US. So we are doing our work. We are actually putting in work and effort to make sure that these snakes are healthy and feeding. I am going to take you guys to the other area and show you some more stuff. Now we have a bunch of baby Pataeus carinata here. This one is full of quail. So we are gonna be offering some for sale. Not this one, this one's a Malaysian. This one's gonna hang out here for a while. But we are doing the same amount of work across the board, of course, because that's what we do here. So here's another one. This is a baby sunbeam. Well, it's not really a baby anymore. This animal has been here since last May. And for some reason it got skipped over during the last summer export to the US. So it's gonna be coming over. I put them on my permits already. So we have a trio of Gemacincta. These also I think were hatched here in the fall of last year. And I didn't wanna send them over because they were still a little bit young. I wanted them to get more meals in them. I fed these uh, live pinkies like three days ago. Just le left the pinkies in overnight and they all ate of course. So very nice 1.2 Gemacincta. These of course will turn solid black as adults. They're super, super pretty as babies. So I don't know in what order these videos are going out, but since we're on the topic of captive bread, I showed these when the first one pipped and then I manually pipped the rest of the eggs and now these guys are starting to come out. So these are baby Melanota and they're blowing bubbles. I can see them here. So we will go ahead and have those ready to go by June. I think it's plenty enough time. And these are 
captive bred baby melanota that are already feeding and established. They've been here a little while now, obviously a little bit older than the fresh ones that are leaving the eggs, but we should have a good group. We should have quite a few. I believe we have two captive bred baby nigriceps here now, and there's a clutch of like 12 eggs that I believe are going to hatch before shipping. So I'll be able to add some more of these onto my order. I can't remember exactly how many I put in for for the export, but I do have gonna, I will have paperwork to cover probably the majority of what gets pre-ordered. And we have mock vipers. I think I have 2.4. This one is a male. So lizard feeders, but very much established. They've also been here for a minute. So here's just a small sampling of our captive bred baby, Ganyasoma. They've all eaten quail for us yesterday. This one looks like it's going into shed, but I'm gonna just go through and kind of show you guys. The old quail in the belly. I told you, you guys are gonna get sick of me showing all these freshly fed animals. Quail in the belly. There's one of the banded form of our Ganyasoma. We already have a waiting list started for some of these. This one has a quail in the belly. And I have more than this, but I'm just gonna show you just random, the first five that I grabbed. So, we have that. <laughs> what else, what else? Available. We have a couple of surplus male diversions, really, really pretty ones. Feeding really good, they're breedable. Can't go wrong. And the prices are right. <laughs> Just don't need so many boys. So that's pretty much gonna do it here, you guys, for this video. To give you guys an update on the captive breeding that we're doing here, well, I had a female Latifasiata, a Philippine mangrove snake with follicles. I paired them, they bred immediately. Same situation with my two female blue beauties, I paired them, they got bred in front of me. I put together two pairs of non-beauties. Um, I have two female Pataeus carinata with follicles. One got bred last night, I watched. And what else, what else? I can't remember it all, there's too much going on here. I have a gravid female Boiga nigriceps due to have her prelay shed any day. And I don't know, there's a lot going on here, you guys. But anyway, thought I would close it with a beautiful Pataeus carinata and that is gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Take care.